Good day, everyone. My name is Ryan. Today, I'm going to tie for you my favorite dry fly to tie and fish, the elk caracatus. Uh, I do things a little differently than the conventional way, but I'll show you how I do them. And uh, I've been pretty successful at them over the years. In the vise, this is a size 14 um, fire hole dry fly hook with the two extra wide gate. We're going to use some 70 denier black UTC. Start that just an um, eye width or so behind the eye. Run that down a ways and we'll snip our tag out. I'm going to run that right down to the bend. Put our little tire hackle in. Today I'm going to use a uh, Grizzly hackle from Whiting. If, uh, you can pluck the barbels off. I prefer to. Uh, snip them with the scissors just it gives them a little something extra to hang on to. And when I tie that in, I'm gonna see my thread, good thread going on the there. I'm gonna leave just a little bare spot so that uh, when I start wrapping that hackle, it's gonna roll nicely. Once we have that tied in, I'm gonna leave my thread at the back there. My dubbing today is some uh, super fine dry fly dubbing from Wapsi in brown olive. I'm just going to take a little pinch. Easier to add than take away as always with dubbing. fairly slender at the back and then build a taper as we roll forward here. Add another pinch there. What I want to do is finish where I started my thread basically. I don't like to leave too much room up the front. Just I find it creates a bulky head. Start wrapping our hackle. Starting at the back and then just nice even segmented wraps moving forward. I'm going to tie that in right at the front of our body. I'm going to snip that off. Just to clean up a now at this point, uh, it is quite common and popular to trim the tops off uh, so that the wing lays uh, a little better on there. I don't do that. Uh, I don't think it makes much of a difference, personally. Uh, yeah. Next, we're going to add our wing, and I've gone ahead of time and I've uh, already cut my clump of uh, hair, which I'm using some select cow elk. Um, and uh, I've already uh, cleaned all the, the fines out and, and taken all the broken, broken ends out as well. 
So when I measure my wing, I always go just a little past the hook bend. It might look a little big, but that's how I tie them and fish them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that in my left hand, hold the clump. I'm gonna grab my thread with my thumb and forefinger and make one complete wrap around the hair. Then I'm gonna make three or four turns around the hair and the hook and pull. And add one extra one just for security. And then what I do is I grab those butts and just pull them back and run the thread through the head. And it really binds that and locks it in. And I'll put just a few wraps in the front behind the eye as a damning damning wraps just to kind of hold it up. Then I'll grab my whip finish tool. my whip finish underneath the head and snip the thread out. Next we'll trim the head. So pull all those butts forward. Make sure everything's kind of all going the same direction here. I only really get one shot of this, so it's sort of critical to get it right. Something like that. There we go. So I guess what I didn't do is, is I typically you'd add a, a some fine wire in there, and uh, I've always found it doesn't make much of a difference personally. If you want to add the wire with your hackle, definitely your choice and up to you. At that point, or at this point, sorry, I'd probably add just a drop of glue just on the underside of the knot here. Typically, I, I use bone dry, I kind of like that, just a small dab of that. Cure it up. I also um, do, uh, I was taught uh, by a fellow that I really do look up to, is to trim the bottom of these hackles off. And, and I mean, I think it really helps the pattern when you're fishing it because it uh, will ride a little lower on the water typically like can as well. At any rate, I'm rambling now. That's how I tie an Elkhart caddis. Any questions, please post them below. Take care everyone. Thanks.